What is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy in C Sharp? In your program, if you use shallow copy instead of a deep copy, this can lead to unexpected bugs and inconsistent data. And now let's go over the definitions of shallow copy and deep copy, and then I'm going to show you some code examples that demonstrate the use of each one of them. A shallow copy of an object copies the immediate values of that object, regardless of whether they are value types or references to other objects. The deep copy, on the other hand, creates a new object and also recursively copies all objects' references by the original object. As a result, when we have a shallow copy, when you modify a references type field in the shallow copy, the change is actually reflected in the original object. And when it comes to deep copy, the resulting deep copy is a completely separate instance and changes to the deep copy do not affect the original object. And now let's take a look at the code which demonstrates the use of shallow copy. I have created a person class with two properties, first name and age. And the main class that we're going to use is sample class. It has two fields. The first one right here is a value type field, which is integer. And then we have a reference type field, which is actually a person object. And our class also has a method, which is called shallow copy, which simply creates a shallow copy from the sample class object by using the member wise clone method. Now let's go to the main method and see how we can make a shallow copy of a sample class object and then later on what happens if we make a change to the original object and does that change affect our shallow copy object. So first we create a sample class object which is called original object. It has a value type integer of 10 and the reference type is a new person object with a name John and age 25. And right here, we create a shallow copy object from the original object. And in the following two lines, actually in the following three lines, we print the original value field followed by the person's name and age. And we do the same for the shallow copy. We print the value field followed by the person's name and age. So let's run the program. It's going to run up to here to the breakpoint. And this is what we get. We have our original object with a value field of 10 and a reference field, which is our person object with the name of John and age 25. And the same for the shallow copy. We have the value field of 10, the name of John and age 25. Now, let's see what is going to happen to each one of these objects, the shallow copy and the original object after we make a change only to the original object. Okay, so this is where we're going to modify only the original object. We're going to modify all the fields. We're going to modify the value field from 10. We're going to change it to 20 and we're going to modify the reference field. We're going to change the first name from John to Alice and we're going to change the age from 25 to 27. Now, if you remember the definition of the shallow copy, the value types, we only copy their value, which means that this change here should not affect the shallow copy, meaning that even after the change, the shallow copy should have a value field of 10 and not 20. However, when it comes to reference fields, we need to remember the shallow copy does not make a copy of the reference field object. It only makes a copy of the reference itself, meaning that the original object and the shallow copy point to the same person object. So once we make these changes here, once we change the name from John to Alice and the age from 25 to 27, we should see the same, the exact same values in the original copy and the shallow copy. So let's run the program. And this is what we see, all the values before the modification and this is after the modification you can see the original value field of the original object is now 20 instead of 10 because of this line here on the other hand the shallow copy retains the value the value field of 10 so this does not change since it's a value field on the other hand 
the let me bring the window here on the other hand the you can see the hash the hash code of the person object it is the same for the original object and the shallow copy which means that these two objects point to the same person and once we made a change from john to alice and the age from 25 to 27 the person object is now alice and 27 for the original object and has the name of alice and age 27 for the shallow copy object okay what is going to happen if instead of this change here instead of changing the name and the age of the person object we actually assign a new object to the reference field of the original object so let's do that we're going to make this a new person with a name of mark let's say mark and age of 22 and since we are assigning a new object to the reference field of the original object this should not affect our shallow copy reference field which means that the shallow copy reference field should still be the person with the name of john and age of 25. so let's run the program and see if this is the case okay again the value field is pretty straightforward it is 20 now for the original object it's still 10 for the shallow copy object but if you see the hash code now they are not the same they're different why because the shallow copy points to the original person with the name of john and age 25 and now the original object reference field is actually a person with the name of mark and age of 22 and we can see the lines which are printed here the name is mark and age 22 for the original object and the name is john and age 25 for the shallow copy object and now let's take a look at the second code example which demonstrates the use of deep copy using a deep copy actually involves creating entirely new instances of objects including any nested objects which is why i had to add a deep copy method to the person class which creates a new instance of this class with the same first name and age the second change that i made instead of shallow copy we are now using a deep copy method and let's take a look at how this method works this slide here calls the deep copy of the person object class and this creates a new person instance with the same name and age of the original person and then this line of the method returns a new sample class object with the same value field which we copied by value and now the newly created new person object which is our copied person object so let's go to the main method and see how this works as before we create our sample class original object with a value field of 10 and a new person object which is our reference field with a name john and age of 30 and then we create a deep copy which is our deep copy object and we can print the value field and the reference field first name and age for the original object and after that the, we do the same for the deep copy object now since we just created the deep copy and we didn't make any modifications all these fields should be the same so let's run it and we have our original object with a value field of 10 and reference field is our person with the name of john at age of 30 and our deep copy object has the same value field of 10 and person with the name of john and age of 30. now let's see what is going to happen to these objects once we make a modification to the original object and again as before these are the lines that change our original object we assign 20 to the value field we change the reference field first name to alice and the reference field age from 30 we change it to 25. Now, since we're using deep copy, the reference objects are actually two completely different objects. So the original object has a person object with the name of John at age of 30. And the deep copy also has a reference field, which is person with the name of John at age of 30. But these two objects are actually completely different, which is why what we expect to happen after we print the, these lines here, we expect that the original field 
is going to have a value field of 20. The deep copy is going to have the original value field of 10. And also the deep copy is going to have a reference field with the name of John and age of 30, even though we changed the reference field first name of the original object to Alice and the age to 25. So let's run the program and see if this is the case. And this is exactly what happens. We now have original object with a value field of 20 and our deep copy object has retained the original value of 10 and the person object of the original object now has a name of Alice, age of 25. On the other hand, the deep copy reference field, which is the person object, still remains the same one with the name of John and age of 30. After looking at the two code examples, we can conclude that the deep copy and the shallow copy treat the value fields the same way, meaning they copy their values directly. And the difference is with the reference fields, where unlike the shallow copy, the deep copy creates new instances of the reference type fields. And the result is that the deep copy object is completely independent of the original object. And this was another tutorial from me which tried to explain the difference between using shallow copy and deep copy. Thank you for watching.